Hey guys and welcome back. So I wanted to talk a bit more about this and uh, to be honest I'm, I didn't go over any of the basics because I expect you guys to be very comfortable with Arnold at this point and I have a whole series online that is still very very valid. Uh, you can find it under uh, on my website sabervfx.com and you go under free tutorials you will uh, find the Arnold training there and there's nothing crazy here. It's very simple shading tricks. And um, the truth is rendering all of this is a bit bold. And I wouldn't recommend you guys to go into this complexity. If you have the building by itself, just put it on a, a plane. Maybe get some of these buildings to show scale and to have some something in the scene so it's not very empty. And it helps with the perspective as well. And then render that uh, and, and then import all the geometry, shade them, uh, get some variation between the objects. It's very, very important. And then just some concrete shading. There is nothing here, just the texture assigned. I didn't have a UV coordinate, so I made a quick XY uh, coordinate using an ST map. Even though it's not mapping on these curvature, it's perfectly fine. I did other tests using curvature shading in Arnold to get some cavity, but uh, what I realized at the end is the ge once the geometry transforms, that curvature is not applicable anymore, and we have to go and bake the texture into UV space. I didn't have a UV space, so I couldn't bake the texture, and it wasn't just worth it to, to go through all the trouble to add that uh, small detail, so I, I didn't use it at the end. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Rendering all of this together is a bit bold like with the city and everything and that's not exactly how you would do it in um, in production But that's something that you have to figure out really for me I, I, I am the supervisor of the project. I know I'm not going to be changing the the background 15 times or 50 times It doesn't matter. I just wanted to focus on the main building I export it as much as I can or I exported each light or each group of light that makes sense to be together into a separate AV so I have full control over that uh, in comp and next week we're gonna go over uh, rendering the smoke and how to set up the passes to render the smoke the particles and then the compositing in Nuke. In terms of rendering this um, I don't want you guys to start doing uh, rendering the full sequence I just want to see the building whatever you have shaded and lit under whatever lighting you prefer. You can do a sunny light, just a very basic uh, uh, light rig with a distant light and an HDR and maybe have some environment around it. And then later in week 10, I'll go over the process of how to uh, set up the passes for smoke particles and how to do the compositing. And then you can start thinking about rendering the full sequence and what needs to be done uh, to get to that point. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and talk to you next week. Bye-bye.